Tay and welcome back to the Confused Curls. So today I'm going to be showing you how I took my hair from straight to curly. So I'm going to show you guys my entire wash and go wash day routine and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's get into it. Alright, so guys to start off with this wash routine, I am going to start by pre-pulling my hair. So I like to start with either detangled or blown out hair. My hair is already straight because I flat ironed it a couple of weeks ago. So I'm just going to take this down. You can see that it's already starting to kind of like revert on me. So I'm just going to pre-poo using coconut oil. This coconut oil is unrefined, cold pressed, and virgin. And it's also organic. And I got it from my local grocery store for around five dollars so yeah it's super affordable so I'm just gonna take this fresh brand new bottle and I'm just going to stick my fingers in there and get out a good clump um, at room temperature it at like 72 degrees it's still like hard so I'm just going to take it and rub it in my hands until it starts to liquefy and then I'm just going to take it in smooth it onto my hair and I start at the root and then I just go down to the tip and I massage it into my hair as well until my hair is super saturated so your hair isn't saturated enough with the first bit of coconut oil you take you can always just get another chunk of it like I need to just another small chunk and take that and put it through your hair as well and then make sure you cover the ends really well because the ends are the oldest part of your hair and they need to be taken care of and moisturized really well so just make sure they're really covered and just a warning that the coconut oil can be really messy so if you want you can have a towel around your shoulders or something like that to help with the oiliness but as you can tell my hair is super oily, super saturated. So I'm going to take my white tooth comb and just comb it through my hair to make sure the oil is good and saturated through my hair. Okay, after you do all that, you can take a hair tie and I just put it, my hair into a little bun, either on the top or near the back of my head. It doesn't really matter. So I put my hair in a little bun. And I take my satin scarf. You can use a slap or you can use a satin bonnet. Either is fine. And I just put it on. And I let this sit in my hair for a good hour to 30 minutes just so it can get real saturated. So in that time, you can watch your favorite TV show or catch up on a Netflix series. I personally am going to be watching, <laughs> watching Games of Thrones. I'm super behind. I know that everyone else has been on it for a really long time, but I'm just getting started. So yeah, and I'll be back in an hour. So now it's been exactly one hour since I put the coconut oil in my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my silk scarf and take down the bun. As you can tell, the oil is still definitely in my hair, but it has soaked in quite a bit. And now we're just going to go and wash it. So let's go.
so now that we're done with all of the showering, shampooing, and conditioning, now it's time to style your hair. So I'm going to just do a wash and go, and I'm going to be using the lock method, which is leave-in conditioner, oil, cream, or gel in this case. So I'll take my hair out of my bonnet. It's a ton of water, but <laughs> to get off the excess water, I'm just going to take an old t-shirt and just kind of dab my hair with it so it's just not dripping too crazy. And now it's time to use your leave-in conditioner. My leave-in conditioner of choice is by OGX or Organics. And it's their Shea Smooth. It's just same brand and same type of conditioner as the conditioner that I use. And it's for thick and coarse hair. So I think I think it's the best for like 3C and 3B hair. So I'm gonna take this. It smells super good and just like a white cream leave-in conditioner. So I'm just gonna take a decent sized amount and I'm just going to scrunch that into my hair. I prefer to scrunch it instead of put it on because I don't want to pull out the curls. So we're just going to scrunch it in and then you can at this point kind of determine if your hair needs more leave-in conditioner or not. I'm a little heavy with my conditioner so I'm going to put in another bit into my hair and make sure I really moisturize the top and lay down the top of my hair. After that's done, I just kind of take it through my hair from like the root to the tip and make sure the tip is saturated and kind of, I guess, kind of finger detangle as I go through. And also while I'm doing this, I have a mirror beside me and I'm looking for any heat damage pieces because when I flat iron my hair sometimes my ends do get a tad fried but this time I don't see any too bad damage so if I do see some I'll clip it but right now I don't see any. So we're just going to put away our leave-in conditioner and next what I'm gonna, the next step is going to be my oil. I'm going to be using the same coconut oil I used earlier for my pre-poo. So I'm just going to get a smaller amount than I used for the pre-poo. I'm just going to take a two finger size amount and I'm just going to take it and rub it in my hands and then scrunch it just like I did the leave-in conditioner. And we'll just smooth some on the top. And I'm also going to take a little bit more, just not too much. I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it directly on the ends of my hair. Okay. So the last step in the lock method is going to be my cream or gel. I am going to be using Cantu Shea Butter the Fine and Shine Custard. It has like a goopy kind of texture. I'll try to see if I can show it like, see it just doesn't really like fall. It's like pretty goopy, but it's really good for holding my curls I find and it gives it so much shine. So I just take a small amount and I just put it on my hand and I just take it and I scrunch it into my hair like I did with all my other products. And I smooth some on the top as well. Okay, and that's all the products that I use. Next thing I'm going to do is blow dry my hair a little bit. Um, I used to use a diffuser, but lately I have not been using one. I've just found that it's been, like it puffs up my curl a little more and my hair tends to dry flat. So I'll show you guys the blow dryer that I will be using for drying my hair. I'm blow dry my hair with the Con Air 18, 1875 Styler. And I like this because it has a directional head, like it's smaller than the normal blow dryer. And you see a diffuser end would not fit on here, not a usual one. And I just like this one because I can really get in my roots and fluff my roots. So I'm just going to do that for about 30 minutes. This blow dryer also has a cool setting. And that's what I'm going to be using to dry my hair instead of heat. So let's get started.
so that's my wash and go routine all of the in all the stuff that I use in this video will be put in the down bar below. If you guys have any, have any questions or any suggestions you want, you can put them in the comment section. So I hope you guys really like this video. If you love it, like it. If you like it, subscribe. And don't forget to show me some love. And comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys want to see next. Alright? Bye! It's like eviction number four now. Go ahead and ash it on the floor now Girl, go ahead and show me how you go